Welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. Good looking. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are just doing a fun little collab with one of my really, really, she's become one of my closest friends here on YouTube, Kendi Beauty. And I want you to go check out her channel. We've collabed in the past. She reviewed the Circle Loco palette and I duped it. And so we collabed on that. We thought that would be really fun. Today we are collaborating on an eyeshadow look and swatches and hopefully I can convince her to compare the Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette to the Forbidden Fruit but we're just I'm showing you the look I don't actually own the Manny MUA by Makeup Geek palette she does and I thought they looked really similar and somebody else had mentioned it in a previous um, makeup video so I thought maybe if I if I really sweet talk her up she can uh, compare the two for you guys to see if there's any any comparison shades. I think the color story is very similar to the Manny MUA palette, but I think we both kind of decided that no, it's not really a dupe palette by any means. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get started on this eyeshadow tutorial in three, two, one. Okay. I want to do the look first and then I will show you guys some swatches afterwards. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Are these shade names? Oh, yeah, they are. So this is Nobody Loafs Me. <laughs> I'm going to buff that into the crease. Into my crease. And I already started because I was messing around with my autofocus. I'm going to try and film this in autofocus. Um, just because a couple of my videos that I filmed have went to waste. Because I wasn't in focus, like, at all. And it's really difficult because my monitor is 720p so there's a level of fuzziness anyways and this is gonna be chatty by the way oh stop 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 please I thought it was going to it doesn't I even checked this and this was the one that worked the best so I did my monitor is 720p so there's a level of um, fuzziness that will just naturally occur because it's not showing me 1080p which is what I run my videos in 60 frames per second um, I don't even know if it can show 60 frames per second or not okay next um, deepening up with is this haters gonna cake or is this one a piece of me? I don't know. Rum for the hills. Candied pineapple. I feel like this is candied pineapple. So this is rum for the hills. Yeah, let's do, let's go with that. Buff that into the lower crease. Anyway, so bad. Ooh, she pigmented. Look at that. So anyways, I... Uh, long story short it's I kind of have to guess when I'm in focus and when I'm not and I normally shoot everything in manual and I'm tired of it quite frankly I'm not tired of it doing these types of tutorials but I'm really tired of it when I do um, just like the sit down videos with you guys because oftentimes I'll like move back just a little bit and see how it's refocused already because um, you know you are slightly out of focus and it just it just doesn't look as sharp and as clear and as good and so I've released several videos that were like pretty much almost all out of focus all of my older videos until I got better at being able to see like when I was in focus and out of focus and just remembering to check have been basically um, soft blur and I was always thinking that like you know it was just kind of like the cameras but it's not it's it's not that at all. Ugh, now we're gonna hunt. I just want autofocus not hunting for me. But I have no way to set it. All right, I'm just gonna go set the focus. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I tried. It just doesn't work. I can't stand it. You guys can't stand it. So we just got to do it the old school way. 
and normally I would love to teach a tutorial in manual and then you know the other way but I kind of just wanted to like be able to then slide back and do my intro and outro really quickly so and then when I did swatches I wanted to be able to just like hold this up and it be in focus but it's not going to work like that because I don't have my autofocus turned on anymore because it's crazy I work with a very budget friendly camera so if you guys take a second or if you're a content creator and you're looking to like um, stop filming just on your phone you can always take a look um, my camera is linked down below what I use but it's very like intro it's very budget friendly it's older so I mean you might consider upgrading to the D5200 which has the pop out um, built-in viewfinder and then you wouldn't have the issues that I have but still would be about the same price I think and I think you would be really happy. I can do a lot with my camera, not because it's just capable of it, but because I have spent a lot of time and knowledge putting into like how to achieve what I've achieved. So like when you see my videos and when you see things done <laughs> the way that they're done, it's because I've spent a lot of time, not necessarily money. So good and bad I mean it just depends on if you want to put your money into things you know then you can have autofocus and you don't have to learn how to manually film but if you really are truly interested in kind of the setup that I have and how you achieve this what is called bokeh or people call it blurry background um, then just spend the time and you don't have to spend the money so okay I'm gonna make this super duper uber neutral just going into that candied fruit cake now because I'm in manual I have to stay within the plane <laughs> so <sighs> oh man I am so I love this when Kendi told me she was gonna get this for me for a belated birthday gift I was like so enamored because I first of all I don't get a whole lot of makeup given to me because you know how do you get a makeup lover some more makeup but she managed to do it Hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this, I have decluttered my train case and you've seen that. And you guys will see all the eyelashes that I'm going to send to her because I feel like I can't really get her a lot of like makeup itself because um, she she buys pretty much for review a lot of stuff so it would be even before I can get it because she's so much faster with that stuff than I am but I like to think that I can help her kind of like stay on top of her lash game so I was kind of glad to be able to send her some lashes that I thought were beautiful and I'm sure she thinks they are too but they just never really got used in my kit um I really want to use this in the outer corner but I'm not going to today with the refer O2 just tapping in some haters gonna cake no that's haters gonna cake it's called one a piece of me why is this dark brown called one a piece of me I don't understand it and then just kind of tap down here and then just kind of blend upward and over and that's the other thing is is I had so many videos that were out of focus because I would be like and next and next now we're going to use this and then we're gonna and I would just keep moving my face in and out of the plane of now see I just can snap it right back where it needs to go I just know what to look for and that's just basically experience at this point <laughs> Nothing but experience and time will get you where you want to go, no matter what type of filming you want to do. And I still, I humble myself about, not as often, but about once a month and I'll spend time researching more lighting, more this, more that. Like, I have videos where I did more cinematic approaches because I wanted to work on that to understand lighting more. And it's not that like, oh, I'm going to eventually get into cinematic videos. It was just something for me to work on so that I have knowledge and understanding of some of that stuff. So 
Um, and a lot of stuff now can be done post-production. So you don't have to worry too, too much anymore. But there's, you know, obviously the better quality you start out with, the better quality you're just going to end up with and the less fussing you'll have to do with it. I want to run this shade right here underneath the lash line. And it is, oh, oh, hang on a second. So right here. This is, you can't really see it, but that's cherry. And then if I turn it over, cherry is the second one over. So it is exactly how it's transposed. So one a piece of me is this one. And then um, haters gonna cake is this one. Oh, maybe like a burnt type of thing or a bunt type of thing. Maybe that's where that's coming from. And then this is nobody loves me. That's kind of cute. These names are, they're thoughtful. Like Too Faced knows what they're doing. So holding this upward so you guys get a good angle and then just bringing this down. One of the, the things that I love most about Candy and I's relationship is that we not only talk about YouTube, but we also talk a lot about our life outside of YouTube. And that is something that I don't really share a whole lot with. Um, very many youtubers just because there's not a lot of time for that you know when it's go time and we have to collab we pretty much just talk about the assignment right we just talk about what is going on and you know and it's nobody's like you can only have so many friends that you share really intimate information with or really um, you know sideline or back stage information with just because you don't have all the time in the world. So that is, I'm just gonna keep it really soft today. I've gotta film some other stuff. Plus, I think, you know what, actually, let me use this for the inner corner highlight. So refer 12, just picking. I did drop my um, palette, and so I had to repress a couple shades, but it was no big deal. Like, they pressed in just fine. Um, so that's why I'm kind of being extra careful. And she's one of the only ones that I share like outside information with not because I don't want to or because I have like this You know secret life and it's so horrible or anything like that it's just because you know don't have all, all this time To share with everybody else and she's she happens to be one of them. So I just really like Appreciate our friendship so much. So candy. I know you're watching this because you watch all my videos you are awesome okay so going to put on some lashes eyeliner I'll be using I'll be sticking to the brown so I'll just use the brown makeup geek eyeliner and you can use code Kendra Morgan official to save 10% on your next order um, hopefully they're running a good or they ran a good Black Friday special I'm sorry I'm like having to think about what they what day I'm launching this video because I'm launching or I'm filming it like a month and a half ahead of schedule. Lashes will be on when you see me and we will, oh, we need to do some swatches. Okay, there's only six in the pan, so we're good. Okay, first shade is the, that really like light white shade second shade rum for the hills that's pretty third shade candied pineapple i hope i'm reading this right yes i am okay there's nothing like revolutionary about this palette by the way it's just a really cute little like christmas collection then haters gonna cake That's more of a purple brown. This is more of a warm red brown. So first shade in the bottom row, frosty buns. It's just a nice icy pink and cherry. This is a very, very dry feeling formula, which I would imagine would probably come yeah, it's, it even swatches fairly dry. Let's build up pigment. Okay. Then 
We've got Nobody Loafs Me. Again, now it's back to soft and buttery. I think red pigments are just very hard to make. So let's go ahead and do it right here. Yeah, this one swatched out beautifully. Look at that. Nice light to mid-tone. And then you should never blow in your makeup <laughs> like I just did. <laughs> Forbidden Fruit Cake. This is that um, blue-brown duochrome. It's very popular, very common, I should say. Sydney Grace's Chameleon would be it. And there's the shadows. It's a really, really cute. I've worn this like several times, actually. You might have seen it already. But I really, actually, yes, I know you already seen me wearing this because I just love it. It's super easy. You don't have to think about it because there's only eight shades. Why did I say there were six? There's eight shades. And it's just like easy on the go kind of makeup, which is a lot of times pretty much what I have to do. So anyways, let's go ahead and do um, ow, liner and lashes and I will zoom you guys out for the final. You know what? Actually, no, I'm just going to put on some mascara. I already have some mascara on. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I have to order some more Makeup Geek and Plum out. But this and Makeup Geek are pretty much interchangeable for me. And I love them. So Lash Princess or Makeup Geek, whichever you choose. There you go. Okay, let's zoom y'all out. This is the completed look. I just did a soft neutral eye and I just, you know, put some liner and some lashes, not lashes, mascara on for you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and I can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's episode, which I don't have my notes with me in front of me. So I'm sorry. I don't remember, but you guys are going to love it. I promise. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. <laughs> and I hope you all have a safe and wonderful holiday. Bye.